Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 19th of July, 1799, an announcement was made of the discovery of a slab of rock covered in carvings by a French lieutenant, Pierre Francois Bouchard, in the area around Fort Julien, near the Egyptian town of Rashid, or, as it is known, Rosetta. The Rosetta Stone was soon identified as the key to understanding hieroglyphics, but it would be another 25 years before the ancient Egyptian language was actually deciphered. Napoleon's campaign in Egypt had begun the previous year with the dual aim of protecting French trade in the area and undermining Britain's access to India. However, Napoleon's force also included 167 scientists and scholars who had been tasked with various jobs, including researching a possible Suez Canal and creating accurate maps of the country. It was while some of these engineers were working with the army to strengthen Fort Julien that the granodiorite block we now know as the Rosetta Stone was uncovered. It was soon sent away to the newly created Institut d'Egypte in Cairo, who announced the find and devised ways to make copies of the inscriptions. These soon made their way to universities and museums around the world. The carvings on the stone are a decree written in three different scripts that all say effectively the same thing. Ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, Demotic and Ancient Greek. It is because the scripts convey the same message that transliteration between them was able to take place. When the British defeated the French army in 1801, they seized a large number of French finds, including the Rosetta Stone. The stone has been exhibited in the British Museum ever since. Thank you.